Jurgen Klopp has just been speaking at the AXA Training Centre ahead of Liverpool's fourth Premier League game of the new season against Aston Villa on Sunday. Now, of course, the first thing he was asked about today was not about the match itself or the opposition or who he fears or what the manager's like and the job he's done there at Aston Villa. No, of course, he was asked about transfers. It is transfer deadline day, so that was the first thing on every journalist's lips. Now, of course, he was asked about Ryan Gravenberch. We know that he has landed on Merseyside today to undergo a med medical and complete the formalities of a move from Bayern Munich. Munich, but the manager not willing to be drawn on that one or speak about it just yet. Um, he, he batted away the, the, the first question of the press conference, which was about Graven Birch and, and how, when we could expect him to be announced. Maybe he's learned his lesson from the Moises Caicedo situation, obviously, when he spoke to us in the press conference. When Liverpool had had a bid accepted, he was willing to discuss that. And then it turned out that Moises Caicedo would end up at Chelsea, of course. So not willing to be burned this time around and, 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 and keeping his powder dry in terms of talking about Graven Birch. He was also asked about the possibility of further signings coming in before the end of the window. We know Liverpool have been looking at defenders and maybe that's something they'd love to add before the end of this window. And he, he didn't really give anything away on that either. He said, this is the direct quote, he said, it's deadline day, so I don't want to kill the excitement. You never know, but I'm busy with other things today. So maybe something could happen there. I'm not getting real confidence from Liverpool or any signs that anything's in the works, but maybe we'll see Jurgen Klopp not ruling it out. So that leaves the door open, I suppose. Now, of course, it's not just about incomings in this transfer window. There's a big worry in the background there about Mohamed Salah. Consistent reports from Saudi Arabia about an offer coming in from Al-Ittihad. They desperately want to get him over there. So Jurgen Klopp was asked again, and he has said so many times before, hasn't he, that this is a non-starter at Liverpool, aren't open to offers, and the matter's closed as far as he's concerned. But he was asked about it again, and his response was again, no, no change to the situation, and also that the, as far as he is aware, no offer has been received yet by Liverpool. So no change in that situation from Liverpool's side. They're still determined that they're going to keep hold of Mohamed Salah. And of course, this one is probably going to rumble on for a little bit longer. That Saudi Arabian window is open a little bit longer than the English one. So even though deadline day today for the English clubs, and that, that will not allow them to, to buy players in, they could still sell players after that. So we still don't expect probably more news to come on that and more more noise from the Etihad side but obviously as far as Jurgen Klopp is concerned as far as Liverpool are concerned this match is closed and, and Mohamed Salah is not for sale now there was some talk in the press conference about the actual match itself surprisingly not all just about transfers Jurgen Klopp was asked about the team news ahead of this one and had some some mixed news really on that front. He said that Curtis Jones is, is back in full training now and, and should be avail available for this match. That's a big boost. We know he's a, a quality young player who obviously Liverpool have made some big additions to the midfield this summer, but Curtis Jones has still got a really big role to play. So he should be back in the squad for this one after returning to, to full training. But some poor news elsewhere, some bad news really for Liverpool supporters. Uh, Thiago Alcantara, who was in line for a return to full training uh, in, the, in the last week or so, uh, it's had, according to Jurgen Klopp, a, a little setback. So he won't be back in full training yet. The plan is really to, to get him back after the international break now. So a disappointing one there. Is we, the hope was that he would be in the squad for this Aston Villa game. And there was also confirmation from Klopp that Ibrahim Akanate is going to miss this game as well. That was the expectation. He, he did pick up a muscle injury. So no real surprise on that one. But obviously also just another disappointment really to have such a, a quality player out and someone who will be a guaranteed starter if he was available now. There was other chat around the match and, and Jurgen Klopp was asked about actually Aston Villa and, and, and their decent start to the season and the fact that they look such a good prospect under Unai Emery. And he said that, you know, it's going to be a tough game and that, that Liverpool will really need Anfield behind them if they're going to come out on top of this. But it's such a good opportunity for Liverpool, isn't it, this game? They've had a really strong start with seven points in three games. If they can make it 10 points going into the international break with the boost of Ryan Gravenberch coming in, then they'll be in a really, really strong position for the rest of the season.